What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a new short haircut trend that is out there. Um, it's a longer shaggy top and then a shorter sides and back. Uh, so pretty simple haircut, section away the top, clip it away, and then I'm gonna be working clipper over comb. What that means is I'm gonna take the clipper, swipe it over top of the comb, pick my length by how far I hold the comb away from the head, and that's kind of how we do it. So d decide how short you want the sides, and then kind of dictate that starting at that temple area, and then just work your way up. Now, where do I find my guideline? Once I cut that first little bit, um, then I just kind of follow that up, and I see that short hair underneath as I pull the comb through, and I swipe the clipper right at that point. Key here is as you get to that round of the head towards the top, you just keep the, the comb rolling parallel to the floor, or to the wall, sorry, um, parallel to the wall. What that does is it builds up weight because the head shape starts to curve away. Um, so that's gonna give you kind of a natural weight um, throughout the haircut uh, and make it look a little bit more natural to the head shape. So I worked this all the way through. Now, you could choose to use clipper guards instead of clipper over comb. Um, for me, I just work faster clipper over comb, so that's what I chose to do. If I was going way shorter on the sides, I'd probably go with the clipper guard. So uh, definitely the choice is yours there. Now we're gonna work into the crown area. I'm just blending that length. So we work our clipper over comb all the way up, and then I just do a little bit of point cutting to soften that crown area, and that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna work through the top. The top is we're gonna pull the guide from the crown and I'm gonna bring everything back to that point. So stationary guide, we're gonna build a square shape on the top, so just bringing everything back. So check out my over direction, how I'm pulling it back there. I'm point cutting because I want a softer line. I wanna create a little bit of texture in this haircut. It is a shaggy kind of free flowing haircut. So I wanna have not a perfect blunt line in there, I like to have a little bit of soft movement. So point cutting creates that for me. You see that my finger angle stays pretty parallel to the floor. That is the goal all the way through. And that's also gonna create a little bit of disconnection as well. Um, and the over direction creates uh, disconnection in the haircut too. So um, we're creating disconnection because that creates that kind of shaggy mop top on the, uh, the top of the head. So I'll work all the way through, over direct everything back, and then I'm gonna let all of that kind of go forward. So you can see that disconnection that happens, all that length. Now that I've got all that length, I don't want it to be in his face, in his eyes, so I just do some slide cutting, pinch in the hair, half closing the scissor to create a little shorter length in the front, and that kind of finishes off the haircut. So we move into styling. I'm using Paul Mitchell Quick Slip. This is a great lightweight. Uh, it's unlike gel in a way that it doesn't make the hair hard and crunchy, uh, which is a much more uh, modern style. And then I mix that up with my Dyson diffuser and I put the hair up into that. That helps activate that wave uh, to dry the product in the hair. So you get a little bit of a nice wave to the hair. Uh, you can see I moved the Dyson uh, blow dryer around and then I finished off with Paul Mitchell uh, Flexible Style Spray Wax. This product is great as well because it gives you more of a natural feel, but it's a scrunchability all day. So if you wanna just kind of fluff the hair up a little bit, but you don't wanna feel like you have a ton of product in your hair, spray wax is the way to go. Hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'll see you guys on the next video.